In the first part of this lab, we demonstrated that air has volume and takes up space. Now we need to demonstrate that air has mass as well. The first step we need to do is find the volume of our container. We did this by filling it with water and measuring how much water filled the container for a volume. This should be around 627 milliliters. In order to find the mass of air, we are going to pump all the air out of the container to see how much the mass decreased by. The next step is to use a dry container and make sure you measure the mass of the container and the valve that will prevent the air from coming back into the container. If we don't measure the valve, our mass will automatically increase due to having the added apparatus on the balance. Once we find the mass of the bottle and valve, then we need to start pumping air out. We can pump air until it becomes difficult to move the pump. If suddenly it gets easy to pump, that's because the seal has been broken and the valve needs to be reset and the air pumped out again. Once you have finished removing the air, you will find the mass of the bottle and the valve, making sure to take the pump off. You will record this data in your data table. Remember we calculate the density of air by dividing the mass by the volume. You should find that you have a very small density. Here is an example of class results that other groups calculated. You can see that they had different results because we may not have all pumped the same amount of air out of our containers. You will notice that the density of air is much smaller than the density of solids and liquids.